Well, what do you think? Up? No. Down. Down is better with this dress. Okay. Okay, no more agonizing. To look beautiful, you have to feel beautiful. Do you remember telling me that once, Mother? It's not what you're wearing or how you do your hair. It's your inner strength, confidence. That's what impresses people. And I am going to impress people at this party. Our whole future could depend on what happens tonight. <laughs> Why, you look more beautiful every New Year's. This is not a good idea. What? Come on. Asa doesn't like people crashing his parties. Crashing? Who's crashing? You're cordially invited to celebrate the New Year with the ba -da 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 Buchanan family. How did you get this? Tina gave it to me. Save it dance for me, huh? Some bellboy found it by the freight elevator. I don't know how the hell it got there. You know I was missing it. Say again? Some polecat charged five grand of my credit cards? Are you kidding me? Well, I've got to hand it to you, Hudson. You look quite a proper tough tonight, mate, huh? <laughs> what do you think, Heinrich? Oh, yeah, 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 that's far. However, you must remember, this evening is that important. Yeah? But it seems to a hair called the wrong. Oh. See? Es verdad. Esta noche we have a muy gran surprise para Señor Buchanan. <laughs> yep. Tonight Ace is going to have one hell of a New Year's Eve. Hi, diddle diddy. An actor's life for me. Hi, diddle diddy. An actor's life is for me. This time, here's where you go when it looks like the rain won't end. Don't cry. I'll give you tomorrow. Let me be the one to share with him. And each day that follows, cause we only have one night to live. I'll try not to be too late. Happy New Year. Bourbon straight. What you drinking, Asa? Get out. This is a private club, Holden. And believe me, I appreciate my invitation to mix with you fine folks. What invitation? Tonight is the start of a new year, the start of a new life. Yes, sir. Max Holden is about to change his life completely. Uh, I knew this was going to happen. What? Well, you've arrived too early. Oh, there's plenty of people here. No, no, no. There's no Angela Braithwaite. There's no Dorian Lord. They're going to make late entrances like some silly debutantes making. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Look, there's Bobo Terhu. Oh. Now, she is an absolute hoot. Come. <laughs> Oh, my God. No, is that... <sighs> this is going to be quite an interesting New Year's Eve.
beautiful. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> really? <sighs> Honestly, that, that, that robe, it, it's, it's a nice robe. Look, I know, I know I'm, I'm supposed to be dressed, I know. Well, hey, it's all right. It's not like they take an attendance record at the beginning of the party. I just, I, I fell asleep, you know? You know what, I think, I think this will look great right here. Kevin, I know, I know this is, this is really going to upset you when I tell you this, and I, I don't, I don't blame you, I... You don't want to go to the party. How'd you know? Oh, I've got these special mental powers. Yeah, I guess you do. <laughs> yeah, you see, first it's uh, reading minds, and next, oh, who knows, maybe it'll be bending spoons. And then after that, well, I don't know, maybe even winning friends and influencing people. <laughs> oh. What kind of friends and people would you influence, Kevin? Well, I don't know. There's a certain lady that uh, is not quite as happy as she should be. As she deserves to be. Well, I don't know about what I deserve. What, you don't think that you deserve to be happy? Why are you so nice to me? I mean, all I do is disappoint you every time. I, I mean, take tonight, for instance. What about tonight? Uh, well, I mean, here you are. You come, you come to take me to a party, and all I'm trying to do is talk my way out of it. Well, so what? I mean, I'm not all that crazy about New Year's Eve parties myself. You know, just all a bunch of people trying so desperately to have a blast. You know, all that pressure to have fun. Yeah. I really hate that part, too. <laughs> yeah. So what do you say we'll just forget about the party and stay here? Stay here? Well, yeah. You know, we could order a pizza, maybe play some cards, and watch the ball drop on TV. Yeah. Yeah, right, Kevin. <sighs> what? That doesn't sound like fun either? It doesn't sound like what you really want to do. What are you talking about? Oh, Kevin, look, don't, don't, you, you dare play that little innocent boy thing with me either. Innocent? Look, I don't need to be a great little? mind reader to read your mind. All you want to do me? is get me in bed. Leanne, well, you've got it all wrong. Yeah, I do. Look at me. Look at me. Max is the one who's only interested in getting you in the bed. I'm the one that wants to marry you. Tina, how do you do? <laughs> Took pity on me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. I guess you didn't clear it with Asa, though, huh? No, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, I sure do get nervous at these affairs. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Leanne? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Well, you, didn't, you didn't bring her with you? This is one party I thought I should work on my own. I should never, ever have let you come here this evening after what you've been uh... through. Hmm. What happened Megan? to you? Uh, well, I asked the wrong questions to some people in Jabba City, and they uh, got kind of nasty about it, sir. Oh, my God. Well, you ought to see the other guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. When did you get back? Noon. I was going to call you, but I sort of crashed. Did you see Jake? No. Why not? Well, it's not like here in the U.S., Megan. It's, it's not like they have visiting days. Half the people in their prisons over there haven't even been convicted of anything. You mention human rights to them, and they look at you like you said you believe in a tooth fairy. Oh, God. He tried, darling. He did. I opened some good avenues. I made some, some good contacts. But basically, it was a waste of time. You shouldn't have even bothered to go over there, right? Oh, don't say that, Megan. I did make some progress. You did? What? Well, I met with a lot of people. Some official, some unofficial, some, uh... Well, some that will do just about anything for money. Anybody who can help Jake? Uh, that's gonna take some time. They have a different sets of time than we do. Okay, so we made progress, but we don't know what that progress is. That's wonderful. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. It's just... No, that's, that's all right. I know that you did your best. It's just I'm so worried about him. It's understandable, sweetheart. 
wish Andrew were here. But wishing won't make it so. That was the last line of the play, my line. There was an incredible silence, and then suddenly audible sobs, and then wild applause. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I need a drink. Uh, may I get you one? Well, I don't drink very much, but I wouldn't say no to a Singapore sling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll be right back. Boy, I must pay you too much. What? How else could you afford such a spectacular dress? <laughs> Vicki, you know, I make my own clothes. I know you do, <laughs> darling. I was just teasing you. Although, coincidentally, Clint and I were just talking about the fact that you have to start the new year with a raisin salary. Oh? Well, you work very hard, and you deserve it. Vicki, that's very... It's wonderful, but I, it's really not necessary. Management is forcing a raise on labor. What is wrong with this picture? I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> good. How is the, uh, the series of articles going on, the political series? So far, so good. Congressman yeah. Dudley is a very outspoken man. I don't agree with his politics, but he certainly <laughs> shakes things up. Yeah. So do you like this kind of work? I love this kind of work. Would you like to do more of it? More reporting? Yeah, what do you think? What? Wait, are you talking about a job as a reporter? Blair, I have a feeling if the editorial staff likes your articles as much as I think I'm going to like them, I'm going to be hunting for a new assistant and you're going to be a full-fledged reporter. Oh, Vicki. But don't get your heart set on having a byline too soon. Clint is very miserly about handing those things out. <laughs> Just to be on staff, I mean, to be able to say I'm a reporter for the banner. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tina, darling. Don't you darling me. I cannot believe you're even here. Why not? I don't understand. After all you've done to me, after that phony book contract, after all that stuff, and you're not even who you said you were. Who is? Don't try to be clever. Look, we, we should discuss this another time. And, you know, by the way, uh, may I say you're looking quite lovely for someone who's supposedly dead? May I say that I don't know exactly what happened to your accent? Now, uh, there's an insane woman who needs a drink over there, so if you... Excuse mm -hmm. me? Excuse me. Mister, I don't even know what your name is. If you so much as do one thing, one thing out of line, I'm going to have you thrown in jail so fast, it's going to make your head spin. In fact, I don't know, maybe I should have you thrown in jail just for the heck of it. Troy? Oh, Troy, how clumsy of me. I'm sorry. Broken glass, everyone. Look out. Uh, I'll get some to clean it up, all right? Jo Oh, there you are. I thought you'd abandon me. Oh, no. Only a fool would abandon such a lovely lady. <laughs> and I assure you, I'm no fool. No, there was a line at the bar. No, oh, listen. They're playing a song we can dance to. What would you say to a little foxtrot? Mm -hmm. Tally ho? Hi, <laughs> 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 darling. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> cutting yes. in. I beg your pardon. <laughs> you heard me. I'm cutting in, Beth. No, only men cut in. Well, I'm cutting in, and when I'm finished, I'll give them back to you. Thank you. Oh. Wie geht's, Heinrich? Or is it uh, Buenas Noches, Umberto? Either will do. <laughs> so, what's the story? What story? What are you up to? Why are you here? To see you? Uh-huh, sure. Megan, I, I explained and I tried to explain Atlantic City. No, please, please, please. Let's not talk about Atlantic City. Whatever you say. I don't remember much of what happened and what I do remember I would care to forget. Absolutely, shall you? No. And no, 